So I look to incorporate technology into mathematics, especially when I'm doing assessment and evaluation. I find it's a great way to engage students, but it's also a great way to bring down a barrier of communication for students. So for example, if I'm looking at students who are hesitant to write or who have a hard time explaining their thinking or using appropriate vocabulary in a written context, I can use programs such as Explain Everything or Screencastify to get those students to orally explain their thinking and take me through their strategies. I found out that it has all right, so right, 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 right. In grade seven, students are learning about dilations, how to make shapes larger and smaller. So using programs like Geometry Sketchpad, it allows kids to manipulate um, things a lot easier. In grade eight, they were developing the formula for the circumference of a circle. So we had an animation in, in Sketchpad that they could see the a dot going around the outside of the circle and then the dot going across the diameter. And we did an activity where they could see the relationship between how many times it went around the circumference and how many times it crossed the diameter. And they could see, well, it was three times, or close to three times. So that helped us build that understanding of the formula for circumference using that. So the students are all engaged and they're all working at different levels. And Dreambox is great because it augments its program based on how students answer. Usually there's immediate feedback for the kids. So they'll know right away if they're wrong, they'll know right away if they're right. There's usually a, a checklist or a little ticker at the bottom or at the top to tell them how far along they're moving. And then there's an, always an end point. The great thing about Dreambox and why they're so motivated is because they are doing different things, so they're not comparing from one computer to the next. The strategies are the same on how to get the answer or how to solve that problem, but the number that they're all engaged with is different. They're able to type, uh, they're able to create graphs, for instance, in minutes, where it would take an entire period to create a bar graph. They're creating three different types in five minutes and able to move on to the next thing. Uh, different problem solving skills through different programs and things like this. This is a huge attitude shift in the kids and you can tell through their body language, the way they're talking and talking about the math as opposed to something else. Engagement. Engagement. And it's my engagement and the class's engagement as well. I think that it excites me to see students so engaged in what they're doing and technology is such a great tool. Our students who, who were hesitant about math become so engaged by the technology, they got lost in what they're doing and the, the quality of the mathematics that they're able to complete because their attitude and their engagement is completely different through the use of technology really excites me as an educator.